So uh, here I've taken apart the uh, five-speed uh, manual transmission from uh, 88 to 92 front-wheel drive Toyota Corolla. And uh, after the removal of uh, uh, quite the pile of bolts, it's basically zippered together with bolts. And uh, you see all the tools I've used here, just uh, mainly sockets and hammer and a couple pry bars. Um, it actually uh, came apart just to go through the sequence I used. This is the uh, shifter uh, mechanism here. It goes in that hole there. And uh, you see some uh, things on the bottom there that interact with various pieces inside of it there. Anyway, I took that out first and removed uh, this piece at the same time. Basically, the way you shift this car is with two cables. And uh, one of them goes side to side here on this, and the other one goes uh, front to back. and it it all comes down to moving this rod different ways give you the six gears anyway then I removed this end cover here on the far end and uh, had to take this kind of special bolt out here got a, got a shoulder on it there took it out and then slid this synchro piece here off and of course it doesn't want to come off now slid that off and somehow this shaft here has to be free to move, but uh, you can see the gear set there that connects the two uh, the two shafts of the main shafts of the transmission. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too too long, but I'll just keep explaining here. So, so uh, with that out, I undid all the bolts around it from both directions and uh, give it a little uh, smack with a hammer and it decided to try to come apart so with uh, some use of pry bars and things uh, uh, the other thing I did actually have to take this little piece out here I'm not really sure what it is but I undid the two bolts there and then the transmission basically fell apart but so here we have the uh, differential or final drive this uh, gear here meshes with this one and uh, get your differential gears in there that let you uh, turn corners allow the two wheels to rotate at different speeds this is the speedometer gear here you get your bearing bearing there that meets into this bearing cone there and there's the speedometer drive gear so uh, here we have the two main shafts you can see some uh, mechanism here that moves the synchros looks like that's probably reverse gear down there but uh, so that's the way she, she works the reason this transmission is out of the car and taken apart um, for some reason we keep uh, blowing something in the transmission that results in all you've got is first gear left uh, this is this is the second time uh, we've had this happen um, it's like something screws up in second gear in it but uh, the other thing these trainees are famous for is uh, driving along step on the gas a bit and the pop out of fifth gear this one wasn't doing that but I've had another one that did but uh, anyway um, just wanted to make a video there to show you the internals of the transmission and as well as uh, you know it's fairly easy to take it apart I'm not saying it's easy to put it back together I have no clue about that but it's fairly easy to take apart I've tried a Volkswagen transaxle one time and that involved drilling and cutting and all kinds of stuff to get it apart but this one didn't. The other thing I'd like to point out here real quick something I found kind of fascinating notice this in the bottom it's a magnet to collect all the uh, little uh, chunks that wear off gears over time so I thought that was pretty smart of Toyota to uh, put that in there so uh, anyway uh, just to show you there uh, what's inside a uh, five-speed uh, standard transmission show you the, the mysteries of it there so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and we'll uh, catch you later